Hi everyone, welcome to Eco Learning Classes. This is Professor Geeta Mahesh. Dear students, today we are going to discuss six mark question, very important for examination point of view too. That is simultaneous shift in demand and supply curve in perfect computation with the help of the diagram. So here we will be discussing the simultaneous shift both in demand and supply curve. Under perfect computation, we will discuss this with the help of a diagram. There are four possibilities of simultaneous shift in demand and supply curve. They are, let us discuss those four possibilities. First one, both demand and supply curve shift towards rightward. Second one, both supply and demand curve shifts leftwards. Third possibility, supply curve shifts leftward and demand curve shifts rightward. The fourth one, supply curve shifts rightward and demand curve shifts leftward. Now to understand this, you can see below the diagrams, I have written demand and supply curve, demand and supply curve. This is a right side and this is left side. So if demand curve shifts, you can see both demand and supply curve shifts towards the right side. That means this existing demand curve will shift towards the right side. You can see demand curve shift towards the right side. And supply curve also shift towards the right side. When supply curve moves towards this side and demand curve moves towards this side. This we call it as shift of both demand and supply right side. The second one supply and demand curves shift leftward. So for supply left side is this one and for demand left side means like this. So this we call it as leftward shift of both supply and demand curve. If you see the third point, here they say supply shifts, supply curve shifts towards the left side, okay, left side and demand curve shifts towards the right side. So this is how it takes place. And if you consider fourth point, they say supply curve shift rightward. Supply curve shifts towards the right and demand curve shifts towards the left side. So this will be the position of both demand and supply. If you see in the first diagram, both the demand and supply shift towards the right side. In the second diagram, both demand and supply curve shift towards the left side. But in the third diagram, supply shifts towards the left side and demand shift towards the right side. In, if you see in the second fourth diagram, supply shift towards the right side, supply shift towards the right side and demand shift towards the left side. These are the four possibilities. For two marks, they may ask you to mention any two possibilities of simultaneous shift in demand and supply. You can choose first two points to write for two marks and easily you can get a two marks. Dear students, simultaneous shift in demand and supply can be understood with the help of a diagram. You can see in the first diagram, demand is equal to supply at point E is the equilibrium position. When demand and supply shift towards the right side, what will be the effect on quantity and price can be understood with the help of a diagram. When demand curve shift towards the right side and when supply curve shift towards the right side. And new equilibrium positions you can see in the diagram. I'm highlighting that one. You can see those points are the new equilibrium points. From new equilibrium points, if we extend towards 
x-axis, you can see the effect on quantity. All these new quantities are greater than the original quantity. That means when demand and supply shift towards the right side, quantity will increase. What will be the effect on price? When you extend from the new equilibrium, you can observe, dear student, price may increase or price may decrease or it may remain constant. So, you have to remember when demand curve shift towards right side and supply curve shift towards the right side. That means when both the demand and supply curve shift towards right side, quantity will increase but price may increase, may decrease or may remain constant. If you observe in the second diagram, dear students, if you observe in the second diagram, if demand curve shift towards the left side, when demand curve shift towards the left side and supply curve shift towards the right side, when demand curve shift towards the left side and supply curve shift towards the right side, then the new equilibrium, this is the original equilibrium, a new equilibrium points you can see I am highlighting that one and when you extend these points towards y axis you can observe the effect on price you can extend towards the y axis and you can see the effect on price when demand shifted towards the left side and supply shifted towards right side and this is the original, P is the original price. And all other equilibrium prices, if you observe, the price is less than the original price. So we can see or we can say that price will decrease. But what will be the effect on quantity? If we extend towards the x-axis, the quantity may decrease or quantity may increase our quantity may remain constant. This is happens due to the rightward shift of supply curve and leftward shift of demand curve. You can understand even the other way also. In the previous diagram, we discussed a rightward shift of both the demand and supply curve. In this diagram, you can see if both the demand and supply curve shift towards the left side. You can see demand curve shift left side and supply curve also shift towards the left side. Both will shift towards the left side. In that situation, you can observe E is the virginal equilibrium point and I am highlighting the new equilibrium points you can see. And when you extend these points towards x-axis, you can observe Q is the original quantity and all other quantities you can observe quantity is decreasing. So Q or quantity decreases when both the demand and supply curve shift towards the left side, when they shift towards the left side. What will be the effect on price if we observe price may increase or price may decrease? Dear students, what will be the effect if supply and demand shift towards left side? Quantity will decrease but price may increase, remain constant or unchanged or it may decrease. If we see in the second diagram, Demand curve shift towards right side and supply curve shift towards left side. What will be the effect? You can observe here the original equilibrium point is E and new equilibrium points that I am highlighting here you can observe. When you extend these points towards x-axis, towards x-axis, the quantity may increase 
quantity may decrease quantity may increase or quantity may decrease or quantity may remain constant but same thing if we extend towards from same equilibrium points if we extend towards uh, y axis you can identify the price the original price is p1 and all new prices if you observe it is less than p1 that means price will decrease but quantity may increase may decrease or it may remain constant dear students in the above diagram we discussed all four possibilities but you when you are going to explain by drawing only two diagrams you can say that keeping price constant in panel a keeping price constant or price unchanged both the demand and supply curve shift towards the right side then equilibrium quantity will increase i repeat once again or i will show that with the help of a diagram so this is the equilibrium point and keeping equilibrium price constant if a demand curve shift towards the right side and supply curve also shift towards the right side so supply curve shift towards the right side and demand curve also shift towards the right side so e is the equilibrium point i am keeping price constant what happens to quantity this is q is the equilibrium quantity and if we observe the new equilibrium that is f and the new quantity is q1 what happens to quantity means quantity will increase and we made a assumption that price remains unchanged keeping price constant if demand original demand and original supply curve shift towards the right side and take position of d1 s1 and then new equilibrium is f compared to old equilibrium in the new equilibrium quantity has increased so that is what they are telling in the panel a both supply and demand curve shift towards the right side leaving price unchanged but higher equilibrium quantity so q1 equilibrium quantity is higher than the original equilibrium quantity in the panel b supply curve shift towards the right side and demand curve shift towards the left left side keeping quantity unchanged that means here i am going to draw equilibrium point e so this is the original demand curve i will name it as d not and s not is the new equilibrium sorry uh, supply curve original supply curve here i told that supply curve shift towards the right side okay supply shifts towards the right side and takes a position of s1 then demand curve will shift towards the left side that is d1 so it shift towards the left side e is the original equilibrium and i assumed the quantity remains unchanged so quantity remains unchanged and if we compare equilibrium price that is p and new equilibrium price is p1 compared to price p the new price has decreased so it means that keeping quantity unchanged if demand curve shift towards left side and supply curve shift towards the right side means prices will start decreasing when supply shift towards the right side means supply increases when demand curve shift towards the left side means demand decreases so when supply increases and demand decreases and we know very well that prices has to decrease
dear students this is important for 6 marks easily you can get a 6 on 6 you have to write only this much the simultaneous shift in demand and supply curve takes place in four possibilities that is both supply and demand curve shift right side and both the supply and demand curve shifts leftward supply curve shifts leftward and demand curve shifts rightward supply curve shifts rightward and demand curve shifts left side so here we assume that price remains constant keeping price constant and equilibrium position is e and when it shift towards the right side both demand and supply what will be the effect on quantity mean quantity will increase keeping a price constant and the original equilibrium is f and both shift towards the left side means quantity will decrease if you observe here in the second diagram keeping quantity unchanged and demand curve shift towards the left side and supply curve shift right side then what will be the effect on price you can see the old equilibrium price is p and the new equilibrium price is p1 p1 is less than p means price will decrease what will be the effect on price means price will start decreasing if supply curve shift left right side and demand curve shifts right side supply curve shifts right side and demand curve shifts left side if f is the equilibrium position and demand curve shift towards a right side and supply curve shift towards the left side means new equilibrium will be the e and if you observe the price moves from p1 to p means prices are increasing when prices will increase when supply curve shift towards the left side and demand curve will shift towards the right side in that case prices will increase so in the uh, equilibrium point that is point e where d naught is equal to s naught in panel a both the supply and demand curve shift rightward leaving price unchanged but higher equilibrium quantity and in panel b supply curve shift rightward and demand curve shifts leftward leaving quantity unchanged but the price will be less than equilibrium price dear students if you like please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much